They're a little bit nervous. This wind is starting to pick up, so they're making sure that they're out in the open and checking around constantly for any potential threats. I'm slowly making my way north because there are lots of elephant tracks heading in this direction. This is where that young bull headed. Mutual grooming and some solo grooming happening. Keeping each other sparkling clean. I always think that Impala are one of the best, or well, they look like the best groomed antelope. And that is partly true. They do spend a great deal of time grooming themselves. They've also got specialized teeth for grooming. And the lowest set of incisors is set, they're very set very loosely in their sockets. What that means is it forms almost a comb-like structure and allows them to sort of sift through their fur and pick up any ticks or other parasites or bits of dust that might have collected there. One has to wonder, though, at the evolutionary design that favoured the idea of a well-groomed antelope. Something that happened that made the genetic, the genetic program for loose incisors a thing that benefited Impala as a species. And of course, they've kept their design for many, many years, tens of thousands of years. They're one of the oldest species out here. It's incredible to think of. Well, you look at these females that have just come through the rut, dodging and ducking and diving the males. They've just finished raising lambs to independence and promptly, straight away, just like that, almost every single one of these females is now pregnant and will slowly be gestating the next generation of impala. Isn't that incredible? Essentially, from the moment that their lambs become weaned and able to survive without their care, comes time for them to mate and fall pregnant again. I have 